Unsightly Opinions, my name's Tamara. Today I have something a little bit different planned. Some of you may be aware I had my 29th birthday yesterday. 29 years on this planet has given me a lot to reflect on. Many triumphs, many failures, and many things I've taken away from each one of those experiences. So today I'm going to be writing a letter to my past self, to my 19 year old self that if there was a time machine I'd send back and make her read. Maybe some of these will be useful to you, maybe not. This is my way of sharing my personal journey with you. Some of these lessons are a little bit cheesy, some of them are funny, some of them are silly, some of them are really personal. So I hope you enjoy. In no particular order, here are my 29 life lessons at 29. Number one, school is important, but it isn't going to change your life. Tamara, I know that you think that school is the be all end all to everything. You want to succeed at everything you do and you wanna be the first to the finish line, but school isn't everything. It's important to learn, it's important to have a good education, it's important to learn how to communicate. But if you bomb one test, it's not the end of the world. There are things beyond school. And it will surprise you how many possibilities there are outside of your formal education. Number two, formal education. Formal schooling isn't the only way to learn things. You are going to learn so much by doing by being, by experiencing, and by listening, then you are going to learn from any degree, from any course, from any class you will ever take. Truly live your life and experience it because those experiences are valuable. They are far more valuable than spending 12 hours stuck reading a textbook. So if opportunities come up to live your life, to do something interesting, to have an exciting experience, to do something new, do that and don't regret it. Don't look back. Number three, learn something from everyone you speak to. Everyone has a story, everyone has something to contribute, and everyone can teach you something. All you have to do is give them the time to say what they need to say. Don't try and rush past them, brush them off, cut them off. Give them time to speak because you'll be surprised what you learn. Number four, always hear what people are saying, especially if someone has a different perspective to you, hear them out, listen to their points, truly try and understand what they're saying to you. Because if you try and internalize their perspective, it's going to help you understand why they're as passionate about their position as you are about yours. Don't get heated and don't shut down when somebody's trying to tell you something you don't want to hear. It can be some of the most useful information you will ever learn. Number five, life isn't a race. Tamara, you are going to be struggling with this as much at 29 as you were at 19. Slow down, stop and smell the roses. Life is going to pass you by and you are going to miss opportunities because you're too busy racing to that next milestone to actually experience the life that's going on around you. So don't feel you have to do it in a weekend. Don't feel you have to do it within a year. You have an entire lifetime to do everything you've set out to do. Don't constrain yourself to a specific arbitrary time limit. Number six, don't take yourself too seriously. Tamara, I know you gotta stick up your butt. Relax, laugh at yourself when you make mistakes. Don't get frustrated. Let your hair down sometimes. It's going to make the bigger mistakes easier to deal with if you can laugh off little things. If you get stuck in minutia, you're not gonna be fun to be around. You can't expect yourself to do it right the first time every time. That's not realistic. Number seven, self-care is important. You won't even know what that term means until well into your 20s. Take time to take care of yourself. I know you, you are a giver. You want to give and give and give and give, but then you wear yourself out and there's nothing left for you. Taking a night off, taking some time to yourself, reading a book, having a bath, taking the dog for a walk, learning something new on piano, that is not wasted time. You cannot deliver your best if you are run down. So take the time to take care of yourself. Number eight, a day off is not a day lost. This is going to be hard for you at 29 and this is going to be something you're going to work on your entire life. You are going to feel guilty when you have to take a day off because you're sick. You are going to feel guilty when you have a migraine and you have to take the afternoon off. Don't. Just like self-care, taking care of yourself, taking time off is important. 
you will catch up. There will always be more work to do. So don't get caught up in the fact that you had to take a weekend off for a cold. That's valid. You're human. Number nine, failing is okay. This is hard for a lot of people and it's hard for you too. It's okay to be imperfect. It's okay to not do things right the first time. Take every failure as a learning experience. You can take those challenges, you can take those failures and turn them into a positive. Every time you fail, take it as an opportunity to try something new, to try something different next time. It doesn't mean it's impossible. It doesn't mean you're always going to fail. Think about it more creatively. You'll get there. Number 10, you don't always need a plan. I know you live by your to-do lists and they have saved you on so many occasions, but if you are so rigorous that you are only living by that checkbox, you're not going to live your life. You aren't going to be able to be you. You're not going to properly experience life if all you're doing is waiting for that next tick on the to-do list. Go into things without a plan. Sometimes it'll surprise you how well things turn out. Number 11, it's okay to have an opinion. You want to make everyone happy. That's something that's so important to you. But that does not mean that you can't have a voice and you can't have an opinion. If somebody expresses to you the opposite opinion, you don't have to agree with them. You can say what's on your mind. Tell them that you disagree, but you want to have a discussion. Don't be afraid. People aren't going to hate you if you have the opposite opinion to them. You are an opinionated person. Let those opinions be known. Number 12, it's okay to ask for help. I know you've been told your whole life you're striving for this magical independence from anyone else, but that isn't realistic. Everybody needs help sometimes. It doesn't matter who you are. You can't do everything and you're not going to be able to. So recognizing when you need help and recognizing that you need to ask for help is a really positive thing. Take time to reflect on that because asking for help is not the same as failing. Number 13, you do not need to be perfect all the time. It's not realistic for anyone to be perfect. No one is. So don't hold yourself to a higher standard than everyone else around you. By all means, strive for excellence, but you do not need to be perfect. It's not something you should ever strive for because you'll never get there and you're going to get discouraged. Number 14, take a chance and try new things. I know you're really happy in your little box, but some of the biggest opportunities that are going to come into your life are going to be because you took a chance, because you tried something different, because you did something that didn't initially feel like it was going to be comfortable for you. So take opportunities that come your way. You're going to regret more by not taking those opportunities than you are by taking them. Number 15, Know who you are and be true to yourself. You don't have to change to reflect someone else's view of who you should be. It doesn't matter whether it's a partner, a family member, or a friend. You are valid exactly the way you are. There are always things that you can learn and grow and become, but you are valid exactly as you are today. Not in a week, not in a year once you've done X, Y, or Z, today. Number 16, it can be lonely sometimes, but you will find people who share your goals and values. One naysayer does not mean it's impossible. So broaden your community and look for people who share those values. You will find them, even if it takes a long time. Number 17, never lose your passion. Your passion is what most people will appreciate about you. Share what you're feeling, be overly emotional, because that's what's real. Don't shut that down. Number 18, stage or stagger your goals. Always break things down for yourself into meaningful small chunks because it's easy for you to get overwhelmed. Tamara, I know how frustrated you get when you're not moving at warp 10. So if you can create smaller goals for your checklist, it's going to make you feel better about yourself than trying to reach one giant goal every day or every week. Number 19, don't get overwhelmed if you aren't an instant success. Everything in life is incremental. Everything is a journey. You have to grow over time. Be you and it will come in time. Opportunities will come, but again, you have to slow down to meet them. Number 20, 
Wish for the stars. Have pipe dreams. You won't always get there, but it's important to dream and have unrealistic goals because that's what sparks your imagination and that's what makes you creative. Number 21, your goals are going to change over time and you aren't going to reach all of them. That doesn't mean that you failed. It just means that your path has changed. Life is complicated and there are an infinite number of paths you can take. Just because you've chosen one over the other doesn't mean that it's a mistake. Be confident in what you choose and go with it. Number 22, don't ever measure your success on someone else's terms. Measure your success by how you feel. You don't have to impress family members. You don't have to impress friends. You don't have to impress society at large with the number of letters behind your name. You have to feel valid in who you are as you are. So if you've done something really small like cross a busy intersection for the first time and that feels good to you, revel in your success. Don't measure your success by someone else's terms. It doesn't work. You'll be miserable for the rest of your life. Number 23, challenge yourself to be uncomfortable. It's when you go beyond what's comfortable that you actually begin to explore and stretch your reality. Going beyond will open possibilities you could not dream of. I know if I told you at 19 that you are going to be sitting in front of a camera twice a week, you would have laughed in my face because you could not public speak without vomiting. So challenge yourself to stretch beyond what's comfortable. You'll find immense validation when you actually get there. Number 24, don't let your anxiety stop you from trying. I know you're a nervous person. I am you. So don't stop yourself because your anxiety is telling you that you're setting yourself up for failure. Don't stop yourself because your anxiety is telling you it's not worth it. It's always worth it, even if nothing turns out. Number 25, eat healthy, but don't prevent yourself from indulging once in a while. You are allowed to eat things that make your stomach upset. You're allowed to eat junk every now and then. Don't restrict yourself from the joy of having cake at someone's birthday or getting a donut on the way home. If that's what's going to bring you joy in that moment. You can eat salads every other day of the week. Indulging once in a while isn't going to break you. Everything in moderation, even moderation when it comes to food. Number 26, do what works well for you, not necessarily what works well for everyone else. You are different, Tamara. You know this. You've known this since the day you were born. You are different. So is everyone else. Everyone is unique. Just because that one way doesn't work for you doesn't mean that another way isn't. So if something isn't working, get creative. Try something different. Don't get frustrated by the fact that you can't do it the way everyone else is. There is almost always a way to figure it out. Number 27, sing and dance while you're doing your chores. Tamara, I know you hate doing the dishes and I know you hate vacuuming. But trust me, it makes it a lot easier if you're belting show tunes while you're scrubbing dishes. It makes it a lot easier if you're grooving while you're vacuuming. Don't take yourself too seriously. Don't think everything has to be checked off as quickly as possible. Enjoy it while you're doing it and find ways to enjoy things you don't like doing. Number 28. If you think you've hit a roadblock, if you don't think there's a solution, get creative. Mind map, meditate, find ways around. Even if it's impossible, there is always something that you can try to create a solution. And if that solution doesn't exist yet, you can invent that solution. That's what's magical about the world. There is always opportunity to do something different. There is always an opportunity to try something new. And finally, number 29, don't be afraid to love people. I'm not just talking about romantic relationships. I mean friends, family, coworkers. Don't be afraid to truly open your heart to them. Treat them like family and they'll bring you into theirs. I know it'll hurt sometimes when people let you down. I know it'll hurt when relationships end, but you are going to take so much more away from that if you are truly open and vulnerable with people than you will by closing yourself off and keeping yourself small. Tamara, you have so much to give to this world. Don't make the same mistakes I've made. Whether your name is Tamara or Sarah or Karen or Dave or Bob, you have so much to give. Learn from my mistakes. I know I can't send a letter 10 years back in time to myself, but 
Whoever you are, whoever's watched this video, you are valuable, you are worth it. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.